Hey guys, today I want to talk about inductive loads. Um, by inductive load I mean a motor or a solenoid, anything with a coil. Um, some things to watch out for with them and some cool things about them. So, a uh, quick review. Um, I want to use some LEDs to demo some of the stuff. So, LED, it's a light emitting diode. Um, it's a diode so it blocks current in, in one direction and lets current flow in the other direction. So this LED I have here, if I run this 12 volts across it, it is not lighting up in this direction, as it should, because um, it's reverse biased in that direction. So I'm going to now, if I put these 12 volts across the solenoid, see if the solenoid activates. Okay, if I run this LED as it was reversed, um, keeping it reversed but now parallel um, to the solenoid, now I power the solenoid. What you see is this flash from the LED when I cut the power, when I cut the voltage. Um, so that's the um, reverse voltage spike. Uh, it's a, a flyback voltage. Um, this happens because a coil, when you have current running through it, um, it's, it's built up uh, a stored magnetic energy. So when you cut the current, that energy has to, it doesn't just disappear, it, ha it has to go somewhere. So um, the inductor builds up, um, basically it builds a voltage until it can continue, um, to let that current continue to go through. And that current's in the revert, that voltage is in the reverse direction. And that's what allows this LED to light up. It builds up enough until it's more than the forward voltage of the LED, and then the current goes through, and the LED lights up until that dissipates. So um, you might wonder, well, how much how much of a spike really is it? I mean, how much of a spike will build up? So here it's one LED. Uh, let's test it with more LEDs. And so I have a bunch of LEDs over here uh, in a series. So let's let's give this a go. If I wire this up like so. And I take my 12 volts again, and I power my solenoid. You see the all flash. It's actually the voltage spikes up enough to flash all these LEDs, um, and I could probably flash many, many more than that. So now this was this was uh, 12 volts I was working with. What if I was to use a much uh, lower voltage? Let's say I have this this uh, AA battery. And it, so, you know, one and a half volts, it's actually probably less because I think I've worn it down um, from using it for other things. So let's let's have a look at that. Even with all these LEDs, I'm going to actually turn off the light to make it um, more visible to see, to see what we get here. So I'll take this AA battery, and you can see, even with the AA battery, it's enough to get that spike and light the LEDs. Not as bright as the 12 volts was because it didn't create as much current through the solenoid coil and didn't cause as much flyback voltage, but it's still enough to light many more LEDs than a AA battery would normally um, be in a position to light. So you can actually exploit this effect um, purposely. Um, so here's, I'm going to show you another circuit. Here is a circuit called uh, a Jewel Thief. Um, so in this circuit, I have a coil wrapped around this pencil. And uh, I'm going to take this double light battery and I'm going to apply power. Uh, and what this is going to do, let me show you here. This double light battery now is brightly powering all those LEDs. Um, what, what's happening is uh, a jewel thief, um, not going to go into details about it in this video, but essentially there's a transistor here and this transistor is making and breaking the connection with this coil very, very quickly. It's causing those spikes and those spikes are going through, through the LEDs to light them all up. So that's, so on one hand you have these spikes which you have to be careful of because they can uh, damage your your electronics if you're using an Arduino or some other microcontroller to 
uh, drive an inductive load, you have to be careful of where those spikes are going and you need to make sure you put the flyback diodes. In this case, I was using an LED, but you'd use a regular diode um, to take care of that, to, to give that spike another uh, path to travel through versus through your electronics, uh, uh, versus through like, let's say your microcontroller chip. Um, or um, inductive loads can actually uh, be very useful. In this case, it's a voltage conversion where I'm converting a low voltage with the AA to a much higher voltage to power all these LEDs at the same time. All right, thanks a lot.